Hi everybody, welcome to Makeup and Fashion Diaries. So I've decided to do this Valentine's Day party makeup look. So I hope you all like it and it's a talk through. I am doing a talk through for the first time. It let me know in the comment section below if you like talk throughs or voiceover videos. So if you guys want to learn how to achieve this look, uh, so keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Bye bye. So firstly, I'm going to grab my primer, which is Nivea Sensitive Aftershave Balm. So I'm just going to apply this wherever I feel I get oily. And it's very liquidy, so you have to like keep massaging until you feel that it's a little bit, tack little bit tacky. I seriously don't know what to talk when I do my makeup, so this is the reason I always do voiceovers. So, yeah. So, I'm ready for my foundation now. So, for my foundation, we will be using a Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade uh, Sun Beige 310. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply little, little dots all over my face and then just buff it with a um, kabuki brush i've never seen such beautiful and weightless foundation and uh, the best part is you don't even feel like you're wearing makeup so it's so weightless and so nice and i just love it Now I'm gonna apply this Nivea lip balm. I will be applying a matte color. So it's really important to moisturize your lips before you apply a matte lipstick. For this look I'm gonna do cut crease. Firstly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, Essence eyeshadow base. Very tiny amount. And then I'll just spread it with my finger. Very gently with the ring finger. Now I'm going to set my eyes using this L'Oreal Matte Magique um, powder. Firstly, I'm going to be picking this very pretty um, brown shade in this um, fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to start just putting this right in my crease. Transition shades are really important because then your other eyeshadows will look nicely blended. So I'm done with my transition shade. Now I'm going to grab a small brush and kind of create a nice thin line. As you can see, I'm just drawing exactly onto my crease. I'm going to take my small blending brush and dip my brush into this one light, uh, darker shade purple, this one, and start blending. And then I'll keep uh, intensifying that purple shape until I'm satisfied with the color. Now I'm gonna dip my brush into a little bit of black, very, very, very tiny amount just to intensify the crease. And 
and then I'll, I'll again start blending by taking that dark purple shade and just dragging this color upward keep blending until you're satisfied so next I'm gonna grab this uh, Makeup Revolution palette and it's a blush palette but it is it has got such beautiful colors so from this from this palette I'm gonna take this color uh, it's a very very pretty pink and I'm gonna get, take this brush and I'm gonna wet my brush with some fix plus I'm not taking any extra eyeshadow, I'm just running it with that same brush. I'm gonna grab my little blending brush and I'll pick that same purple uh, shade, that dark purple and kind of blend everything together yes so this is how it looks now i'm going to clean up all the mess right and then i'll go ahead and complete my hair. so i'm wiping all the fallout And for my concealer, I'll be using uh, Maybelline Fit Me uh, for highlighting. This is in the shade Sand Sable 20 and uh, uh, L'Oreal True Match. This is in the shade Medium Light, Light Me. So firstly, I'm going to apply this concealer. So I don't know why my camera stopped uh, recording so what I did is I uh, applied my concealer and just used this MAC uh, Prep and Prime translucent powder to set my concealer in place and now I'm just removing the excess. Now I'm going to complete my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this small smudge brush and I'll take that dark purple uh, eyeshadow and I'll start smudging my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go and uh, apply my mascara and my eyeliner and come back. So now I'm going to apply my falsies and I stacked up two eyelashes. And I'm going to just put them into the right place. And the best way to put eyelashes is using these pair of tweezers. And just push them a little back. So I went ahead and completed my eyes. Now I'm going to apply mascara onto my lower lashes. And I'm using Roller Lash by Benefits.
I'll let a small one do my place. Now I'm going to take in this kabuki brush and just start warming up my face. Actually, I don't want to do any crazy contouring, so I'm just slightly bronzing my forehead and my face. Now for my blush, I will be using Milani Baked Blushes, which is uh, this one, Love Potion. And I'm going to simply apply it onto across my cheeks. So just taking a little bit and dabbing it, dabbing the excess. And now time for my favorite part. So I'm going to grab my fan brush and I'm going to grab my favorite highlighter. So I'm going to grab the highlighter and just slightly highlight my brow bone and now time for my lip color I'm gonna line my lips with uh, NYX uh, 835 pinky and So that completes my makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did please uh, comment and hit the subscribe button and also tag me if you recreate this look on my Instagram, my Twitter and my Facebook. And a very happy Valentine's Day to all the beautiful girls out there. And also let me know what next do you want to see. If you want to see a contouring routine or you want to see my eyebrow routine just let me know in the comment section below. And I love you guys so much. Bye-bye. So if you guys wanna... Uh, so if you're gonna...